Hi there, Kev Ellis here. Um, I'm just going to go through a, a very quick tutorial for a, one of the first songs I learnt to play, um, Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton. Um, I'm gonna, I'll am going to i go through a strumming pattern and uh, a very basic uh, finger picking pattern because, uh, as you know, I'm a beginner myself, uh, learning these things myself, and it's just the finger, finger picking pattern that, that I think works quite nice with it. But uh, for the strumming part, um, capo on the first fret. Again, play with the, the capo as you see fit. The capo's there to make the, the tone of the guitar suit your voice. So don't listen to all these people that are saying, oh, it's got to be on this fret, it's got to be on that fret. That's not what the capo's there for, it's to change the tone so it so it suits your voice better. Um, I play with it on the first. You, you, you decide where, where it sounds best for you. Okay, um, we'll go through the, the chords you'll need. You're going to need a G chord, a D chord, a C chord, and a E minor chord. So the chords you'll need for this song. Um, my strumming pattern is down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Again, don't get too um, hung up on strumming patterns. Again, play it and, and play it through and, and see how it feels best to you to, to do it. Um, I, don't, you know, I don't want you to copy me uh, exactly. You know, you, you, you Probably a lot of you watching this are much better than me, so come up with your own strumming patterns and, uh, and how it feels best to do it to you. Um, so, introduction G, D, C, D, and then back to the G chord, and you're into the song, which I'll play through. It's late in the evening, she's wondering what clothes to wear. So right through to, to the point where it brushes her long blonde hair, you've got that same pattern as the introduction. So you've got G, D, C, D, G, C, uh, sorry, D, C, D. So that's brushes her long blonde hair. Uh, and then it, you go back to the C chord for the next bit. Through that bit, so long blonde hair finishing on the D, long blonde hair back to the C chord, D. So, and then she'll ask me to the D, Do I look alright to the G? So, Do I look all? So, you, you're basically playing the G chord on Do I look all, and then on the right, that's an all right, on the right bit of the all, quickly to a E minor. So, let it. Do I look all right? Said my darling, you look wonderful tonight. So, all right, D, E minor. Said my darling, see, you look wonderful, D. Tonight, G. Okay, so you've got that that part of it down now. Um, exactly the same for the the second verse through, um, and then there's a little bridge after the second verse. Um, she asked me, "Do you feel all right?" I said, "My darling, uh, I feel wonderful tonight." Just play it, play that pattern through again. To the bridge part of it, so I'll, I'll pick it up so I can get my bearings with it. Um, I feel wonderful because I see the love shining in your eyes. Sorry about that, I'm trying to catch up with the song myself. So, 
back to the uh, seeker. So I feel wonderful because I see the D. Wonderful because I see the love shining to you, G. Love shining in your eyes to the E minor. Eyes back to the C and the wonder of it, D. All is there. Back to the C. You just don't hear. Back to the D. Lies I'm a shine. And then the G. Love you. And then just to say a pattern again. G, D, C, D. G, C, uh, G, D, C, D. And then into the final verse. So. It's time to go home now. Cause I've got an aching head. So I throw her the car keys. She helps me to bed. And then I tell her, as I turn out the light, I said, My darling, you were wonderful. Yes, my darling, you were wonderful. I said, My darling. Um, very basic, very straightforward song. Um, you'll you'll pick that up in no time if you just start playing away on this only four chords. And any beginners out there, you'll you'll obviously know them chords. Very straightforward chords to play. Um, finger picking. Here is the pick. I'm not very good at this, so bear with me. But you, if you can master this, you'll make it sound a lot nicer than me. Basically, exactly the same chords for everything, uh, and the same timing. Um, but you your finger picking, um, make a, the G chord for the first bit, picking the top string, the, the uh, high E, pick it, and then your uh, bottom three strings, obviously using your forefinger, middle finger and ring finger, um, so top string, then bottom three strings in order, so that's how it goes, third, second, third, second, Just do it again. Third, second, third, first, second, third. I know this sounds very, really complicated if you're, uh, you know, just starting out. Um, but that is the only finger picking you're going to be doing the whole way through. The only thing that'll change is the string that you pluck first of all, as you're changing the chords. But you know, if you just practice that on the G chord. You, high E string and then you're from you know third from bottom second from bottom third from bottom bottom second from bottom and third string so that's how it should sound and then you move into the D chord and you'll pluck in the uh, third string down that time instead of the the top the top string third string down into the C chord and you're picking the second string down back to the D third string down but that that pattern remains the same on them bottom three bottom three strings exactly the same pattern so the only thing you're having to worry about is when you're plucking a, a G chord, it's a top string. When it's a D chord, it's a third string down. When it's a C chord, it's a second string down. And then on the occasion when you play the E minor, it's the top string still. So it should sound a little like this. Again, you'll be able to do this much better than me, I have no doubt. Um, Darling, you look wonderful. 
be how it ends, but um, just on that final strum down on the G chord. But that's generally it. Uh, like I say, you'll be able to do it much better than me. But I hope that's helped any beginners out there that uh, are struggling with, with finger picking like, like I am myself. It's a very basic um, thing. It takes a bit of practice. Um, you know, you, but you just sit there for 10 minutes here and there um, whilst you're watching telly or doing whatever. And just, just make, the, make the G chord and just do it with the G to begin with before you start worrying about changing changing your chord. Just get that and, it, and it'll start coming so it's natural. It won't, you won't have to really think about which string you're plucking. You know, you'll start off and you'll be looking at them um, and it'll be really slow. And you'll be thinking, God, I won't get the, the hang of this. But if, like I say, just 10 minutes here and there out of your day, um, within a week, Less if you if you practice it more, you'll be able to master it in, in an hour or two. But if you're in no rush, There you go guys, hope that's been uh, useful for you, I know it's uh, a little different to my usual stuff but uh, hope you enjoyed it, okay, see you later.